Getting started on taking your project, go ahead and take some tracers and draw around a candy cane. Once you've drawn around the candy cane, you can either leave it the way that it is, or at the end of the video, you'll see another variation showing overlap or space in this project. Once you've drawn it, begin with a white oil pastel. As you grab your white oil pastel, go ahead and decide where you want that shiny part of the candy cane. This is the part that's going to make it look round. This is the part that's going to make it look like the light is hitting our candy cane. Notice the direction of the line. It started out as a straight line going down, and now I want to make the candy cane look like it's a rounded form, not just a flat piece. So the direction of my line will matter as I begin to add my color. My lines are not vertical, they're horizontal. My lines are going side to side. That'll allow the color of the white oil pastel and the color of the candy cane to start blending and mixing. You'll notice that I took some more white and I started to add more white with the green or more white with the purple so that it starts to blend and mix together. It's not just a solid white, it's not just a solid purple. I want those colors to mix. The cool thing about oil pastels is that they're like a paint stick. The colors will start to mix and blend right onto the paper. The use of value going from lights to darks is allowing my project not to look so flat. It is a flat piece of paper and my goal using value is to try to make it look round or three-dimensional on a flat piece of paper. When you're doing your candy cane, you can do any kind of color combination that you want. The purpose in this project is to blend the whites with your color to make it look like a round three-dimensional form. Now I want to show a non-example what happens if you don't blend your colors together. When I've got the purple and I've got my green, I'm adding in color. Look at the difference between the purple and the green when they're not mixed, when they're separate colors. You can see how it still looks very flat and very separated. So I'm going to blend now with my white to fix that problem. Take the white pastel and let your colors mix right onto the paper. Lastly, any decorations that you have, anything that you want to add to your project, let's do the same thing. Start out with a color and think about value so that it becomes, instead of a regular shape, it starts turning into a form making it look like a three-dimensional surface. So I'm going to begin by coloring in part of my picture that I've drawn, my bow. I'll begin with a solid red color, or any color you prefer. Add value to my project. So grabbing in some white, I really want to make it look like it's highlighted. Black does a nice job of outlining, where white does a really nice job of showing the highlights or the color, the light source that's hitting my surface. The black really has a tendency of making the rest of the picture pop or stand out. Now if you would like to add a little bit more color into your project, I grabbed a little bit of purple, the color that's next to red in the color wheel, the color that's a little bit darker, and I've added some purple into this project as well so that I've got some light areas and this is going to provide a little bit more shadow or shade. Instead of it being such a dark black color, purple I thought would look really nicely mixed with the red just to provide a little bit more contrast of lights. To darks. Lastly, let's take a black oil pastel and really make everything pop out. Make it stand out against that black background. So as I take my black oil pastel, I really want to make this project shine and stand out amongst the black background. While I have my white oil pastel, let's start talking a little bit about background. 
You don't have to make snowflakes into your background. You can use any kind of materials or any kind of ideas that you want. I just felt like my background was pretty plain and boring. So I'm just going to go ahead now using my oil pastels and start adding in some designs into my background. Snowflakes are all unique and different. You can make your snowflakes or whatever you choose to do for your background into any kinds of designs, patterns, lines, or shapes. I just love the way that this project turned out. I think it looks really cool that it's not such a flat solid object, but the way that I use value in this project really makes this project look 3D and makes it look like it's coming off the edge of the paper. I hope you have fun and then I want to take a moment and show you another variation. <laughs> 